Hi, I'm Mr. Walker. Today we're going to talk about the scroll saw. There are many different brands of scroll saws. This one here is a Delta rocker arm model. This is a DeWalt reciprocating model. And this is a Rockwell belt driven model. In your school, you probably have a scroll saw that looks like one of these. The purpose of the scroll saw is to cut small, intricate curves. A scroll saw can cut both outside and inside operations. Here are a few projects that were cut with a scroll saw. The scroll saw is able to cut small intricate curves because of the small blade. Scroll saws can be used with wide blades or very narrow blades. Wide blades are used for thicker materials and wide curves. Narrow blades can cut very tight curves, but they also break much easier. This is the Delta Variable Speed Scroll Saw. Here are some important parts of this machine. This is the work table. This is the blade with the teeth pointing down. Here is the blade guard in front of the blade, the pressure foot or the hold down, and the adjusting knob to raise and lower the pressure foot. This is the on off switch. This is the variable speed control which controls how fast the blade goes up and down. On the DeWalt scroll saw this is the work table. This is the narrow blade with the teeth pointing down. This bar is a pressure foot, hold down, and blade guard in one assembly. This knob here will raise and lower the pressure foot. On top of the machine is the on off switch. This is the variable speed control which controls how fast the blade will move up and down. This is the tension lever which adjusts the tension of the blade. This is the Rockwell scroll saw. It's an older model but a solid workhorse. This is a work table area. This is a blade with the teeth pointing down. This is a blade guard. This is the pressure foot or hold down. This is the adjustment knob used to adjust the pressure foot to raise up and down. This is the only knob you will need to adjust on this machine. Before we talk about the operation of the scroll saw, let's review a few general safety rules. First, get permission from the instructor before operating the scroll saw. Next, always wear proper eye protection. This can be safety glasses or goggles. Arrange your hair and clothing in a manner not to get caught in revolving machines. Always make sure that you have closed toed shoes on for traction and support. The operator safety zone around a machine is three feet or arm's length. That means that only one student is allowed in the safety zone at a time. Make sure all blade guards and adjustments are done with the machine off and completely stopped. When installing a new blade, make sure the teeth of the blade are pointing down so the cutting action is toward the table of the scroll saw. Be sure that the blade tension is adjusted to keep the blade from bending or breaking. On the Delta scroll saw, here is a blade tension lever. Here is a tension lever on the DeWalt. On the Rockwell, make sure the blade tension column is adjusted to provide tension throughout the entire up and down cycle. The blade tension column must be locked in place. In many schools, installing the blade and adjusting the blade tension is performed by the instructor. Please check with the instructor. This is a throat plate. It is to provide access when changing the blade. Inspect and make sure that it is in good condition and in place flat with the table. When cutting on the scroll saw, the wood has a tendency to follow the up and down motion of the blade. 
The pressure foot helps control this up and down motion by keeping the wood flat against the table. To adjust the pressure foot, we loosen the adjusting knob, raise the pressure foot, put our material close to the blade, let the pressure foot apply slight pressure on the material, and then tighten the adjusting knob snug. Remove the material away from the blade. Never start the machine with the wood touching the blade. Select the correct machine speed. Adjust the speed of the scroll saw to the correct speed. On this machine, it will be shown on the digital readout. It is 1100 strokes per minute. On the DeWalt, this is the uh, variable speed control and for most materials the recommended speed is 5. The Rockwell has a belt and pulley speed adjustment underneath this cover. When properly adjusted to the correct speed, the student will have no further need for adjustment. Scroll saw blades break very easily, so take your time and make the right cuts. Remember, never force the wood and use the correct speed. Before making any cuts on the scroll saw, we need to position ourselves. First, our feet need to be braced and balanced. We need to have our feet about shoulder width apart. Hold the material to be cut on the scroll saw with both hands. Use downward pressure and keep the material flat on the scroll saw table. This line represents the cutting path of the blade. Never position your hands or fingers in the cutting path of the blade. Always move your hands to the side and never cross the cutting path of the blade. The purpose of the scroll saw is to cut curves. The question is how tight of curves can we cut? We have outside wide curves and we have inside tight curves. Scroll saw blades come in various sizes. We have wider blades for wider curves and heavier and thicker material. We have narrow and thin blades for lighter and thinner material. This chart illustrates how tight a curve a blade is capable of cutting. Wider curves are made by wider blades. Tighter curves are made with smaller, narrower blades. If your scroll saw is equipped with a wider blade such as this one, you will need to make relief cuts to cut tight curves. This is an example of relief cuts. Relief cuts are small in and out cuts to relieve pressure on the back side of the blade as it comes around a curve and prevent the blade from twisting. This is an inside relief cut. This is an outside relief cut or a tangent cut. Stop the machine before trying to remove small pieces of scrap material. Always use a push stick. Use a bench brush to clean the work table. This will prevent slivers and cuts. Also, clean the floor. 
The machine must be turned off and at a complete stop before you can leave it.